Hey, residents of Meeple Town, it is the end of the 14th century and we are in Paris. And once again, John, we are the heads of influential Influ of families. That's what we families. do. That's what we are. But it's a Never. fail fest, fail fest. Man, man, man. It is a fail fest. So we are going to be vying for control of the, to be the most prestigious in the areas that we do control in Paris. Let's get to the table and check out Notre Dame. Hold up, I didn't hold the oh, box up. Notre Dame. No, Notre Dame. <laughs> All right, residents of Meeple Town, welcome to our Feld Fest. We're going to be doing a Feld series. A festival of Feld. That's right, with uh, it. Mm, at the end of the Feld Fest? Or somewhere, we're going to be doing our top 10 Feld games. Maybe in the middle what of is, it. What is a Feld, John, for people who might not know? That's a great point. <laughs> Stefan Feld, one of the greatest, if not greatest, Maybe board our game favorite designers of designer. all time. Yeah. You never know until we come out with our list of our top favorite designers of we all time. We did that. Uh, that was on the podcast. Oh, yeah. There we go. Page. All right. And mine would be decently different, I think. Yeah. Probably mine, too. Maybe. If I did it again. Anyway. All right. So, with that being said, if you are enjoying our channel, we would love for you to subscribe. And also, if you'd like to support us, you can go to patreon.com slash meepletown. Okay. Again, welcome to Paris. Welcome to Felfest. So, as Dean said earlier, what we're going to be doing is, hey, we want to spread our influence cheer all around the board, which are going to be represented by... Some cubes. As we draft cards, we're going to be placing them into these sectors of our burrows, and we will be getting, you know, more coins, or we can move our carriage around, or victory points. But there's also this doggone dead gum rat infestation that's going to be driving us insane. Present in every Paris themed game. I'm I telling think. you, Is that actually, right? I need to go back to zero. There. Maybe not Paris. I don't know if Paris has rats, but. Very prevalent in a lot of these Paris theme games. Yep. Well, anyways, that's what we're going to be doing. And if we go beyond that nine right there, we're going to be losing some victory points, all kinds of stuff. That's right. We're I'm going to be hiring folks. Yeah, I'll go ahead and flip these over. We don't have to talk about what these are, but one thing I do want to point out, at the bottom, each of these is going to have a rat or none rats, multiple rats. Wow. Right now, we got a lot of rats. Right off the rip. That's right, which is not good for us at all. Um, this will come into effect at the end of the round, but that's something we have to be aware of right now. Woof. Yowzers. You got that guy right there right off the bat, though. I know it. I know it. That's interesting, Whew. isn't it? Actually, and that's not going to be potentially that good right now, so it would either be this or that. Take the victory points or take safety. Okay, anyways, right. we'll talk about that here in a second. It means nothing to you, does it? Nope. All right, so first thing we're going to do, if you've never played Notre Dame is we're going to shuffle our cards and we will draw the top three. Boom. We'll be doing some drafting here. Super simple. That's right. We're going to take one and pass it. Oh, boy. Good? Is that good? No, I mean... The... <laughs> oh. This is, this is what this game does to you. It usually gives you options that you want to take this and you want to take that. And right now... You can I, deal it with makes, this? It makes or me nervous. Yes. And then I know when I'm passing to Dean... You're only going to do two of these actions as well, which is interesting. So. There we go. Yeah. Take that. I knew you were going to do that. You didn't want that? I, did, I really. We gave each other the same thing. Yeah. yeah. I, that's we what might I, have, have the exact same cards, actually. Who knows? We don't. Oh. <laughs> All righty. So you know? uh, I'm going first. Is that what Yeah, you are first. Okay. okay. So we're going to play only two of these. I'll play one, Dean will play one, I'll play one, Dean will play one. Then we'll do this and the round will be over pretty much. So I guess right off the bat, what I'm going to do is play this so that I can start gaining some more influence into my, my supply. So placing that there just gains me one. That's good. Got to build that engine. So the more we have in there, the more influence, the more we're going to be able to get. That's good. Well, I think what I'll do is I will also gain influence, but not not in the traditional way that John will. So I'm going to do this to move my carriage. And when I do that, I'm just going place to... Place your move. influence oh, yeah. in there. Jeez. <laughs> I'm just jumping ahead. He's cheating. Sorry, already. place my influence in this shows how many that I can move. I only have one in there, so I can only move one space. So I'm going to move up here and take this one, which is going to give me two prestige points, making me the most prestigious... Family in all the land so far. I'll also get one of my influence markers from my general supply and put it into my supply. Um, yeah, I have a really interesting decision. I'll, I'll actually pull these cards up because it doesn't really matter, Meeple Town. I can start putting it into this one right here, which is going to help me build a point building engine the game progresses. This one allows me what stinks to actually, I lose a rat, um, but I'm on zero, so that doesn't help me at all. 
But also if I build up to influence in there, every single time I gain a point, I'm going to get uh, an extra influence. But I don't think it's the right move right now. I'm going to just build up, I think, my point building engine to grab one. Yeah. What happened was um, the card that... Go ahead and play your card, Dean. I know what you're going to play. How do you know what I'm going to play? Okay, tell me. Show me. I'm going to play this one. Exactly. That's what I was... Dis I was having what such a hard decision. Like you're going to say the same thing. I, I really wanted both. Like, having those both come out the first time yeah. was terrible for me because I was like, I need influence and I need money. Ah. I, it makes you feel better. Ah. I would have done the exact same thing that you did. I, yeah. I like having the influence cubes out there. Yeah. But. You got to because if you don't, then you're really in hose in this game. Yep. All right, so that is it um, until we do this part up here, which means that we're going to have the option of buying one of those. We can buy the same one. It's not like John's going to buy one and he keeps that. That's I can right. buy the same one that he does. And so this is going to give me one victory point for every cube I have out. So this is worth two points right now. It's not that great. I'm going to do this because that's going to prevent the rat from moving forward at all. And I would actually go backwards if I had cubes in the hospital. That's right. Influence. Sorry. That's right. It... it uh, it doesn't really make sense for either one of us to do either thing. No. Unless we're hoping to get a card that would give us points for having a lot of rats, but having six rats right off the bat is not what you want. That's not at all, all what you want. All right. Word. All right, that's it. That's the first part. So we're going to have uh, three A's, then three B's, then three C's. So this is nine rounds. And I didn't mention... The brown cards, that we ju these two that we just had out there, they're going to come back. So yeah. this, this deck is going to get used multiple times. I didn't mention that there are nine rounds, and uh, it is a victory point game, of course, like every Stefan Feld game. This is a good one. I like the the looks like a that lets bishop, you take one maybe. From the supply, right? That's right. It lets you take a cube from your supply and put it out on a burrow and take the action. This one does the same thing, except from not from the general supply, but from another burrow and put it in another one. This one's just going to give you two influence markers and a point. So Dude, the rats those are, are really out. good ones, but that that is a lot of rats. So now we're going to have to think. Potentially, we're going to need to do something about that. We might have to start taking advantage of those rats. Can I have my first player marker, please, sir? Where's quasi? You know what? I actually, I think that I, I think it's quasi moto. Like he's quasi moto. That's what I was saying about my automobile this morning. I was like, this is quasi moto. Oh, that was a that was a that was a joke. It was good. Okay, that's a good one, John. I like that. You're you're welcome. Ooh. Wow. That's yeah. kind of interesting. <laughs> I think I'll do that one though. That was that was a tougher choice, and I ended up keeping two of the same card. So that's uh, actually that's not awful necessarily. Okay, so I'm gonna pick one of these to play. Uh, so I'm gonna play this one right here, which will have me take a cube and put it out into the. I don't know the names of all these, John. This is it's bothering me. I should know that, but this one's gonna let me. Place a cube here, Almost. and then for each cube, I get to take one of these items. So I can either take a cube, I can take a coin, or I can get you rid of the You ended up with two of those cards because I passed you one of those. Do what? You ended up with two of those cards because I, I did. passed you one. I, I like that. So I knew that I was going to have to play one of those. Yeah. I just took a influence cube from the general supply. What's What's really hard in this, and this is why I was like sad I didn't get the coin. I mean, I like all my cards here. Um, the Notre Dame part is really important in the game. I'm going to either pay one, two, or three coins to gain one, three, or six points. But at the end of the round, which is at the end of uh, round A, which will be at the end of next round, so there's uh -huh. three parts to it, you're going to divide six by the number of influence cubes here. So I have this in my hand. If I spend two of my coins to gain three points, then I can't do any of those. I could also just spend one to put one in there, and that's not super great, but... If I let Dean have this with just one influence cube, That's right. he gets six points to my zero. Um, so I'm going to actually place it just to put one in there, giving him the opportunity to gain a few more points. But I just, at this point, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that. All right. Not and the ideal time to get that for me. But. So one of the interesting pieces about this game is the delay, you know, of... I need to. I want to play this card, but I might hold off. Now th that's going to happen a lot with this one. I didn't play this one at first because I kind of wanted to see what John was going to do. I, sh I didn't. Think Regardless, I was going to play it the second time anyway, and I was going to probably do the same thing. But I'm going to play this. I'm going to spend two, two. coins yeah. because I do have that extra coin, and then I'll take. That's mine. a big move. But the problem is, Dang I only it. have one influence marker left, and so I need to figure out more ways to get that. And he gets three coins. So I mean, three points. So that's the thing is, he gets three points right now to my one. 
and then at the end of this round, it will end like this because that's the there's only one of those cards. So there's one of each nine of these cards or whatever. So he's going to get four points and I'm going to get two. So that was a huge swing. I got three points and he basically just got seven. Yeah. Yeah. So that was bad. That's why I really needed this. And maybe we'll I should have done that though. Multiple times though. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, maybe I should have done that. Um, and now I have a really hard choice too because. I can move my carriage around and help me get some more coins and stuff like that like I need to. Did I spend my coin a second ago? I didn't, right? Because I said that I only have um, That's right. You had win. two. Yeah. But I also, I think I'm just going to play it a little safe. Am I? No, nope, I'm not playing it safe. Go big or go home. Let's move this carriage. Let's kick this carriage, dog. Okay. So now I can move one space. Mm-hmm. Now, what's interesting about this as well, y'all, is that this is that if when you collect one of a particular color, you have to um, collect all four. Uh, you have to get different colors before you can go back to your own. So, like right now, I like this, but like, hey, there's one right there. Mm -hmm. um, so I could double it up, but I also it's going to be harder for me to get the influence. It's a couple spaces away there. I think. Ugh, that's going to be tough because, like, here's the thing I'm thinking. Like, I, strategically, I know that those cards are played. I know both of those cards are played. Or Dean didn't play his, maybe. But he, yeah. So it's going to be hard for me to get coins. If I don't take this, it's going to be, I'm going to be pretty much hosed for a coin. But, okay, that's what I'll do, actually. I'll go up here so that I could backtrack if I want to. Mm -hmm. Gain a point and a coin. All right, word. All right, and both of us are going to get an extra action this time anyway, so that, that could potentially help out as yeah. well. So that's both of our actions. What we're going to do now is pay a coin to do one of these. I think we're probably going to do the same, same one, one. Yeah. which is taking this from our general supply. That's now, not terrible, though, like grabbing um, two influence, especially no. for someone it's like us who don't have... Well, in fact, that's what I want to do. I'm going to yeah. put that in my influence spot so that I can just take one influence token because I know that I'm going to need those going into this next round. So these are going to go away. So this is tough for me, actually, because I could start building a coin engine, but also I'm down to one influence, which is not good. Um, I do know one of the moves in my deck is going to be to have to move this guy around, which means I won't have to have influence for that. Uh, ah! Is that, this, is, so this, is, this is fun. <laughs> I love these decisions. Like It's not like it's... It's so simple to understand. Like, you know the moves that you can make. Right. It's just like, what do I want to do, I think, which is what I like about this game. Yeah. Um, how much do I want to push my luck mm -hmm. based on what's going to come out and what is what do I think Dean's going to take and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, so I will take one from the general supply here. And I actually, I think I'm going to take a coin and build a little bit of a yeah. coin engine. So You just took a point. Yep. <laughs> and I would rather have a coin. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm hoping, John had mentioned, I don't think my, my coin card has come out yet. Oh, now we're each going to move up our rat track two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. oh, and if I had one in the hospital, it would have been backwards one, but I realized just one is not that huge of a deal at this point. That's right. Now I'd rather take that because I can go backwards one and then it would also protect me. But I also don't think as many rats are going to come out this time uh, just based on what we've drawn. We've drawn some pretty heavy rats. So I'm gonna best Only one, much. actually, yeah. so we should be fine. That was the other thing I was thinking, so yeah, anyways. Yep. And coming into the to that round B, what is, what is that called? The next the next phase of the game, there's a card that you can actually get points for. See, that would have been really, oh. yeah. anyways. Um, okay, I think I've got to do that, right? Yeah, I have to do that. I'm not going to see that again, are I? Aren't, are I? Am I? Um, let's see. Sometimes it's easy decisions, but sometimes it's pretty grueling. I think I'm going to take that one. Gruel. The, oh, yeah, okay. there are some. Interesting. I didn't. I didn't anticipate seeing him again. I well, thought, did you keep him? It's because I already had him. Oh, okay. So I like, I, I, I could have kept him to play keep away, which I probably should have actually. That was probably a mistake. I probably should have kept him to play keep away. Dang it, that was stupid. Yep, should have done that. <laughs> is it my turn or is it? Yes, it is yours. Yeah, I passed it back over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess I am going. This is tough. Stuff. All right, gonna so I'm going to put this guy, I'm going to play this card, which allows me to put my, um, oh man, what is this guy called? Your friend, trusted friend. Trusted friend. Your Thank trusted you. friend. Which he won't permanently stay somewhere, but wherever I put him, um, I will get that bonus. So knowing what I have here, 
you know, I did okay on my coins. I'm actually going to put him over here and grab a couple more influence. Um, mm -hmm. What does this one mean again, Dean? You get an influence for every sector or every... For every empty, empty borough. borough. Yeah, yeah, so you're going to get one one prestige point. So this one's just going to give you stuff. This one's just going to give you stuff. Yeah. As well. Okay, so I'm going to take that and play two. Okay. Resources, I guess. All right. Uh... Yeah, this is this is interesting. I, I kept my money card because I wanted to. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind showing you. I you know I kept that to get more influence out there, to start building that up. But trusted friend's going to do the same thing. But it doesn't stay. That's right. He's going to move time around. Because next time you use it, he has to move around. That's somewhere. right. But my thought is, I'm okay with that for right now. I think because it's going to save me from putting more influence out on the board than what I need to. Okay. So I think I will put my trusted friend out there. I'm going to take two coins. And again, like John mentioned, that he's going to be moving around. He cannot stay in the same spot. He's not a very trusted friend. He's a really good maybe trusted maybe you're sending friend. him out on on um, you know quests. I mean, if he was a good friend, or I would say, Paris. "Look, buddy, I need you to stay at the bank and make me some money." Whatever, get out of here. Would dude. you do that? Oh yeah, for you. Yeah, every day. See, you're a trusted friend. This guy. <laughs> All right, so my next move is going to be I'm going to start building up some immunity to the rats. I go back one, and then yeah, there's I could have actually had more influence even more and just pulled out a ton of those, which was, it's tempting. Yep. Because why the trusted friends there, he's still, he's worth an influence. So when he goes out, so it was very tempting, but I just. I'm doing the same thing, except different. Um, yeah. I, I, I'll show everyone why I do, I do that. So I'm playing this one, which is going to allow me to put one in the park. And this does the same thing. It moves back on here. Now, it doesn't give me the same long-term benefit that John does, which is good. And I considered keeping that one as well because that was my card, right? Building. That you played? Maybe not. I don't remember. Anyway, but what this does is when I have two cubes in there, every time I gain prestige points, I'm going to gain an additional point, which can big. be really helpful if you're gaining a lot of you know one-off points here and there. Well, we are at 33% through the game, and he still has to get another cube on there. That's so right. That's right. That's the... Getting yeah, it's, that really it's a risk I'm early. I'm it's that to. hard. Like this is a really risky game. Mm -hmm. I feel like like you're really risking your who who can play it the right way. All That's right. right. So I have to choose first. Yep. And what's interesting is I mean I would holy shnikes. So oh, I it's, have, on my, it's in my burrow. It's mine now. I have one, two, three, four empty ones. So this isn't like I kind of need to catch up on some points, but this is going to give me three points and something else. Um, so it's really, I would rather have three points and I think a coin is what I'd rather have right now. Yep. I'm doing the same thing, except yeah. instead of taking a coin, I'm actually going to take some influence. influence. Yeah. So I'll take influence and then a three pointer. This is hidden, by the way. I'm just leaving it out there. I oh, don't you're know. right. Uh, I, I don't, I don't care. You know, I don't, it's fine with me that it's not hidden. All right, game. so we also are going to well we'll do the rats first. Oh, that's right. And so one, wow. I don't, I don't go forward any because I'm blocking with my. Hospital. But I do. And then Dean's going to get four points, and I'm going to get two. So I'm getting thwacked in this game. And you know what we didn't say? We didn't say our records, Dean. Oh yeah. Oh, we didn't. Yeah. So we usually do we at the beginning. That. What did you say? Four points. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Isn't it eight to five or seven to five? Seven Oof. to five. Seven, seven to, five? to five. I think okay. that's right. I think you're right. Yeah. So he's beating me seven to five this year, this season. All right, so that First was phase a is third done. of the game. That's right. Which, Which means... Where are we at on our time? All right, we're good. Get through another... We're shuffling... Where do you see the time? Want, I just want to make sure that the camera doesn't cut, shut off on us. Where are you seeing the time? It says it on there at the bottom. 1916. 1916, y'all. All right. Dean's old man eyes can't see it. I don't know where you're looking. <laughs> I've never known that. That would have been really helpful. I was actually looking for it earlier. All right, so we are shuffling these brown cards back up and, and flipping over decks one up. of the great. Yeah, and shuffling our, our decks out. Let me just go ahead. And, you've already seen these before, so you know what they do. Although this one is helpful again because it's going to mean zero on the rat. Uh, this one is for, um, for your burrows that have at least two of your influence markers. You're going to get two victory points for each of those. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, la, la, la. One thing I we failed to do, Dean, is these get removed. Yep. So back to the general. Man, I, mean, I feel like I haven't. Is it my turn first this round? Yeah. Mm. Jeez. Oops. I just don't like the way I'm drawing my cards in this game. Yeah. 
Yowzers, this is a this is a toughie. Yep, I'll do this. Mm. Dang it. See, this is where it gets difficult too, because like me, I'll just show you the cards. He knows what they are. I wouldn't mind getting more influence, but also wouldn't mind keeping that away from Dean. Because mm -hmm. if Dean gets that, then um and I'm gonna play keep away from Dean. Yep. Uh, because if he, if he gets that, then he's going to start scoring point. Now he can't. I didn't, I didn't care as much about that because there are other opportunities I can do yeah. to get that out there. But, um, I mostly was kind of playing keep away from John too, which is, Oh my shoot. Favorite. I forgot that I passed you that card. So that was a stupid move by me. I passed you that card too. So I, my playing keep away was not, was oh, stupid. Oh, cause I'll still get just yeah. it. Yeah. Dang it. You are one this is me, right? in this game. So I'm going to place an influence marker out here so Dang I can it. get two influence markers. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, I have no choice. Two of my cards are these, so I'm going to... Oh, wait. No, they're not. Oh, I didn't pass you that. Okay. Dang, I'm not so I'm not stupid as I thought I was. Well, that was mine, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to just keep going to the hospital at this moment and try to think I'm going to try to score points another way. So that will move my rat track back. And we're also going to have a decent amount of rats come out five this time. It'll block me three. So anyway. Yep. Okay. All right. I, ooh, man, this is a, this is a toughie. I'm going to play this and do the exact same thing. So place, whoops, not from there. Sorry, from here. And then I'm going to take three of my cubes and put them here. So this is helping me have more influence out here. I'm going to need to move these out of here, though. I'm going to have to start moving these into other burrows so that they can get more use. So I have a big challenge is I drew this stupid card this first round again. Uh -huh. Or not again, I don't remember. So what stinks is that once again, when I've drawn this card, that's my, i got to get more money. I've got two monies. All right, people town. We had a faux pas, which I you've already noticed. It. Yeah, and I've written it down in the bottom because I'll yeah. go back and edit it. I hadn't played this game in a while, and I don't know why I wasn't thinking. Whenever Dean went to Notre Dame, he placed two of his influence markers in here. Um, he should have only placed one That's and right. bought the points. So what the difference is going to be? He actually should get one of his back because he had placed one from his general supply. That's here. right. Yeah. Uh, but also, he should. I took two points, and he took four points. I should take an extra point and he should I lose, should lose a, point. a point. Yeah, that's right. So that wasn't as bad as I thought. Because I was looking at my card going, that's not how this game is played. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> but it's been a minute stupid. since, but it's been yeah. it's quite actually a not, while. Yeah, actually, it's, it's only been about a month since I played okay. it. But <laughs> I'll be real. But it, it's, when you play a lot of games, um, but before that, it had been almost a year since I had played it. So anyway, I'm going to place this here. Um, and this, I'm just going to give one coin. And I, and I feel like I'm losing the game. I just feel like I can't. Because if Dean can pick up three points or six points, you know, on this, he's just going to keep beating me. Your turn. Oh, that's Ready? it. That's it. Yeah, I want to be able to get one of these things. All right. So it is my turn to do this. I have to do this one. So I'm going to put my – oh, sorry. I'm going to do this one, which uh, is going to set the zero rat for me because it's going to be five, and that would push me – over the edge and make me lose influence and uh, lose two points. So I can't do that. So that's one positive thing that's happened with the rest. Right. I don't need to do yeah. that. Now, here's the thing. This doesn't do me any good because uh, the minimum influence, yeah, it's giving me a couple points. So I'm going to buy this person and all it does is it makes me move an influence around. I just don't have that much out. Look how much influence you have. Your engine's just so good. Look at this. What, I gotta, I, what am I doing? I got... <laughs> I didn't even realize that either. It didn't make any impact on the gameplay. It's, no. Um, I was it, like, because it's right Well, there. actually, earlier when you were trying to figure out how many points you would get, actually, I don't know, but oh, it, it, it hasn't affected what we were doing at all, anything we've done. We are botching the first Feldfest video. Bad. Oh, man. Okay, let's focus. Let's get our we attention. We can't redo this video, right? No. We just got to keep going. We got to keep doing it. Keep trucking. Okay. Overall, we're good. A lot, okay. of, a lot of editing of, you did that wrong, stupid. Okay. So you're moving a cube from one, I am. from one area to another. And it's, um, yeah, this is a really interesting piece. I need money, I feel like. I really got to get some money. Me too. And I'm, but the problem is, is Dean keeps scoring more points. I actually going to move this carriage one because I think I'm fine with going just, no, I'm going to have to go. Wait, no, I'm not because I took a green one. Yeah. 
I think I'm just be happy with it. I can go with just one space unless Dean takes it. So I'm gonna put that there and grab two more coins. There we go. That's it. Okay. Okay. Um, you're gonna move up on the rat track. Um, five total, but you are gonna be uh, two less. So okay. these will go over here to come back out later in the game. This one will not come back out. You're gonna get that. Flip this. So in this one, this is where we can get some points, maybe potentially. This one's going to allow you to get a point for every uh, space behind where your rat track marker is. So I would be able to get five points if I played that one. John would get uh, six, I think. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right. And three cards. It's up to you. I made a risky move and it might come back to bite me. But I'm not going to say what my risky move was because I don't want to influence Dean's decision. I just want to... Uh, I feel like I've got to take some risks here because Dean's whipping me in this game. Mm. Whipping me. I can't believe I was playing on two different burrows. All right, I'll keep that. I'll just keep this one and that one. Might as well. This... Okay. All right. That helped. Uh, first. That helped. Yeah, what I the risky move that I took was that I don't have any uh, influence markers right now. But I thought there's a lot of ways. I could, that card could draw out, the carriage card could draw out, and that card could also draw out, which two of them went, came out. So, um, yeah. Ah, I think I'm going to play, man. The I'm ghost of some... Notre Dame just opened up this door over here. I know. I think I'm going to... Wait, sorry. That was stupid. Um, the carriage card needed to come out big time for me. It did. So the first thing I'm going to do is play that. Oh, man. That's the problem with my stupid decision. Ah, I've got to move one of these out. Um, and I guess I'm just going to move it out of my... And that's how that works, right? I could choose not to do this action, actually, but I've That's got right. to do it. Yeah. I'm going to move this here. Um, is that one I'm going to do first? Or do I want to do that first so that I can do... Yeah, actually, nope. Sorry. Ted Gummit, y'all. I'm actually going to do this first and move it over here so that I can gain an influence. Okay. Okay, I don't need influence. That's that's one thing I got going for me. But what I do need are coins. Yeah. Which I'm kind of surprised that you passed this, but it's probably because you needed something else for yourself. Um, um, it's because I had to have the carriage, I think, or I needed, I needed, yeah. I got you. I had to get an influence somehow and yeah. So I'm just going to put this out here. I still have my trusted friend there, which is going to give me three coins. That's so big. having, having you're playing, you're making so good. much better like moves than I am. And this is just it's, ridiculous. In some ways, maybe. That's just crazy good. In other ways, not so much because I'm in bad shape with these rats and I'm about to lose some points. Okay. There are a ton of rats coming out this time. And I'm going yeah. to, that's the problem is I'm in the same boat though. I can, I've got where I can block two, but I've got to be able to block a lot more than that. Um, and there's really, based on my cards that I have, there's no way around it. So I'm going to do this to move the carriage. I can only move one space now because I've taken that out, which, you know, kind of stinks. I kind of want to go get some more influence because I'm out of influence. Um, I mean, that's, if I don't do that, man, if I don't do that, then I'm going to run into the same problem again, uh, where I have to move something around that I, 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 I've, I don't think I've ever played the game. This, this is horrible. Um, yeah, but if I do a carriage action again, I'll be able to go two spaces. But the thing is, is I have to take another color. So I, you know, I guess I could, there's one spot that I could go grab if Dean doesn't have it ahead of time. I'm just going to do that. I just. <sighs> <laughs> everything, everything comes with a big sigh with you. Man. You're very disappointed in your gameplay. I, this game, I, I mean, I just am like, I feel like I've, I remember playing this the other day and feeling like, man, I'm doing well. This one, I'm feeling like this is a, this is horrible. I don't know how well I'm doing for a game that I haven't played in a while. I, I don't feel the pressure right now. Yeah. So if I lose, I lose. It's all good. I'm just going to take this here. I'm just going to take a point. That's all I'm going to do. And that is going to end that round. You're so rolling. now we've got some choices to make there, John. And I'm first. Yep. Yeah, so... Um, that's a lot of points for me. Um, 
Th this is such a tough decision right now because I desperately need influence. Mm. But Dean is beating me too bad. I've got to take points. So it's for every space behind it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's That would be a good move for me too. Getting five points would be really nice. But I think what I'm going to do... Weirdly enough, as I'm going to take this guy, which lets me move three influence cubes into another area. Now, I do not get to take the action. However, when I start taking this action later, that's going to start pumping some points that I'm desperately yeah. going to need once I not a bad move. get beat by all these rats. So right now we've got five, six, seven rats. There's no way. So we've both gone beyond the nine, which means that we're going to lose two. And this was another reason why I moved those over there is because I knew that I was going to lose this. So I thought... Why not try to... Yeah, this is tough because I'm going to either lose coins or lose the rats. And I'm going to take it out of the rat one, I think. I'm glad that Dean didn't take his points there because like that is that is a one saving grace in the game at the moment. Mm -hmm. Is that I was able to catch up a few points right there. My hope is that now I can yeah. start gaining some points here. But it's who knows? Who knows if that's actually going to happen? All right, these are going to go away. All righty. We're entering, in, entering, entering into the last... Mailwitch card here into the marriage into the marriage so these are going to come out um this is going to give us three points for every two of these message tokens that we have i only have one john has yeah. two so that could be three points for you but you also get three points here so yeah. take our cards and it is is that you first or is I that me it's you so. okay let me see here um this is going to be an interesting Thing. Oh, and there's only one rat that's going to come out this time. But I could do that, and that would help me with that. Yeah. Oh, only one rat? Yep. Word. Yep. Oh. Yep. I'm guessing, I know that you have Notre Dame over there, so we'll see what you do. So this is me, is that correct? Yep. All right. Oh, this is a tough one for me. I would like to be able to get rid of a lot more rats, but it is what it is. I'm going to do, I'm going to play this one right here, which is going to let me place influence out in this spot, which is going to let me get rid of a rat. And now for every time I get a victory point, I'm going to get you dirty rat, an extra victory point there. You dirty rat. It's pretty good. So the, the Teenage Mutant. Ninja Turtles version of that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing that... Um, you killed my brother. <laughs> here's... This is... This is inter... All right, so I'm going to do this with my one influence. So I'll just kind of run through some thoughts that I have. This is allowing me to take two out of the three of these, right? All right, so two out of three of these ones right here. If I don't move, I'm going to lose two victory points again in another influence. So I've got to get my rat track back, which that allows... I can do it here but I also would have the choice to do it over here later. Um, and so, I think I'm gonna do it here at the moment. So I think I'm gonna take the rat track back one so that I won't go all the way out and then, actually, never mind, I block one, don't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I block one. Still, it's tempting to take the rack track back one where I'm at sure. right now, but yeah. I'm not. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to take an influence in a cube. All an right. influence in a cube is the same thing. A prestige in an influence. Time to move my trusted friend. That is what I will do, I think. Oh, yep, I'll do that. Because I here's the thing. I can't go in here. John's going to get six points for that. I had to discard that card earlier in the game. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh, I didn't have enough money to put anything in there. That's, so I did that last time because I, and it ho it's really I think handicapped which hand strapped me. Yeah, hand hand strapped. Mm -hmm. So all I am going to be able to do is put move my trusted friend for the points, which is going to give me four points plus an additional one. I'll get five points for that. That's going to be my only saving grace to That's win a lot this of game. Points. I'm going to have to keep doing that over and over again if yep. I can. So you got four points right then. Five. How do you get five? Four and then five for this one. Oh, because you get the bonus. Yeah. yeah. You got a good engine there. So I've got my trusted friend here that I can move around, but also I could just go straight up here and just grab three points. Um, and so that's what I'm going to, I mean, three coins. I'm just going to get my coins while I can right now. I need a bunch of coins. 
I'm going to have to get coins the rest of the game. Maybe. Yeah, I will. All right. So, yeah, yeah that's it. So let's do uh, let's do it up. Do it to it, Laws. All right. So then we're going to buy over here, and I'm the first one. Do it one. to it, Laws. It is from Heavyweights. i got to take three points. Great film. For sure. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to take three points, and then I'm going to take what we got here. Where's my three-point marker? So there we go. And then I'm going to, I think, money would be really nice, but I think I just, as best I can, try to I help need to yourself try to there. on that track. I thought about doing that, <laughs> taking it back one there, and then taking that again, and starting to, I probably should. I probably should have done some of that, but I don't have any influence right now, and I don't want to end up screwing myself over with not having any influence, so let me, uh, let's do that. Is there not a three? Here, I'll replace a five with two. John, go ahead and take your six points for Notre Dame, too. That was huge. Yeah. It's just it caught at a time where I didn't have money. And here's the problem. I only have one coin now, so it could very well happen again to me if my card comes out at the wrong time. I mean, that's this. there's so much. Like, the more I play this, there's so much push your luck in this game. Yeah, like, sure. I feel like because like, you know there's only nine cards. You know what's going to happen, especially in a two-player game. It's not. It's even more predictable. That's right. You know, you know what's going to happen, and you're like, okay, but if this happens, that, so forth and so on. So, so with this card that came out, um, the the new person card, I guess. So for uh, your the burrows that you have at least one cube in, um, you're gonna get you can get one point for those. Alrighty. All right, so we're gonna oof, goodness gracious, flip this over. Three more around. This is it. One more full round thing. Oh, this needs to get out of. That's right. So what this one does is gonna give you one point for the burrow that has the most. Of your influence markers in there, you're going to get one point for that. That, that could be a lot, potentially. Shuffling. Probably not the best time for that one to come out, necessarily. And then we've seen these ones before. It is John's turn. Where are we at with the rats? Right. Four rats. See, this is the this is a challenge because Dean has played it well enough, I think, to where if he does want to stop the infestation, he might be able to do it. I, on the other hand... It's going to be a challenge. It's going to have to work out perfectly yeah. for me. I, on the other hand, am really probably not going to be able to do it. So the question is, do I want to keep fighting the infestation or just kind of roll with it? See, that's interesting. Um, it's really interesting. Oh boy, Whew. this is tough. Because I'm, I'm, I'm like uh, at this moment, there's like some really tough decisions, especially with this keep away mode mm -hmm. that I've got in my hand. I mean, I'll, I'll just say it. No, it won't. Not until he makes a decision. Yeah, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, I just can't do that. Okay. The problem is, is like if I that when I'm explaining it, the negative is like. I could just discard the card and him not know that he even had it. Like he could still keep it. So I'm probably not going to explain it. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm in a tough spot. <laughs> he could keep guessing and like hoping that I still have it. And I can be like, yeah. This is going to make your decision easier, John. It's right there. That's what you're looking for. Is that right? Um, wow. So. Oh, that was this. This was not good for me. I, I I had just mentioned last round that that Notre Dame card can come out at a terrible time yep. if you don't have money, and that's exactly what happened. And I considered keeping it just to keep John on his toes with that, but honestly, I needed the other card that that I passed that I kept. So, so that is really Ooh. really bad news for me. I'm first. Yep. I'll go ahead and play the Notre Dame card. Um, I will go here. And I've got, this was the time I could actually play two coins and get three points. But I feel like I'm doing okay here right now. I think I actually might have more points than Dean at the moment. Yeah, yeah I think so. And so it could be a really good, I just, there's some other things that I'm worried are going to happen that I'm going to have to kind of mitigate. I'm just going to take one point again, which I've... <laughs> I've hardly ever played this game and done that, but it is what it is. All right, I will play this card, which is going to let me move my carriage. And uh, let me put my influence in here first. So I can move it two spots. 
uh, I've got to get a set of four before I can start getting, so like I can't just start loading up on those. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go here. Down here, it's going to give me three points. And that's good. Just Big time. Do that. I don't have, well, I don't have that. Ooh, okay. Maybe you have more points than I thought. No, I don't. I don't. You getting six points twice is really I didn't get six points twice. You will. I, there's no way I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to move back. How many are coming out this time? Four. So I'm going to move back here. Um, I may not have taken... I can't remember now. I might be... I may have cheated there. We had one rat that came out last time. Yeah. I may not have moved that up. I can't remember now because I don't have anything here. I'm just going to leave it. If I cheated, I'm sorry I cheated. But Game over. It'll be it'll be a two-point difference if I did cheat. Whoops, it's fine. Uh, but it is possible that I did that. But I did move that back one. All right, your turn. Yeah, so... Um, I can't remember where is, I was on the track. This is uh, this is actually a tough decision for me um, because I, I, I'm kind of hosed on the rats. They're going to come out... I'm going to lose this round, so I'm going to lose two points this round. There's just no doubt about it. But I guess I've got to hopefully position myself in the future. Ah, I almost just kind of want to take a point and just say, forget the rats the rest of the game and just try to do other things. But that means that I'll, I'll be losing six points if I do that. For sure. I'm definitely losing two. Ah, that's tough. Um, but I'm going to do the rat. I'm gonna, that's probably... A, to safety, Johnny safety. I go back one, but I'm just gonna gain it right back. Okay, I'm gonna just play this. Uh, I will protect myself from the rats, which is gonna be helpful, but <laughs> I'm probably gonna later on lose it. But anyway, I'm gonna go back one here, and then I'm gonna take a coin as my second action there. Good. And then discard this. This is what I was, uh, oh wait, oops. Can't even do that right, don't look Dean. That's what I was keeping away from Dean, because you all know why. So the me playing keep away kind of hurt me. Oh, I can tell you what it is. It's the point one. There's no Maybe. doubt. No, it is. <laughs> this, it's, it kind of hurt no, me. Okay. The only other one it would be is this, and that doesn't make any sense. So, so right now I have zero influence. Um, yeah, you're going to go for that, I'm sure, and grab four points. Man. The problem is I can only get two points for mine. I've got to get the influence in one point. I mean, this. Yeah, I'm going to have to get my points there. Um, no, it does. Does it count my... It does count my trusted friend, right? They That's said that, they, yeah, the, the trusted friend counts as influence Yeah, while they're in that spot. So you get four points. So we'll do that. I'm going to go here. I'm actually going to get five points because, again, I get yeah. an extra point for that. Oh, I thought I was coming back, and now I think you're pulling back ahead. I mean, that's just you negated my six points last round almost. Oh, hey, you know what? Whenever I took this, uh, whenever I picked up this carriage, I did not take my extra point for that. Remember, it is every time, right, John? Every time I'm getting an extra point That's for right. the park. All right, now I lose two points, which that really negates the thing. And I also am back to We're both nine. there. We're both there. These rats are they're something. It's like feeding your right. worker, isn't it? It's just interesting the way the cards come out. Your, yeah, your decisions and... I like the rats. I think it's fun. I like feeding my workers. I like the tension. <laughs> this is an interesting one, especially this could be helpful for me or John, actually, if we get the right cards. So you're going to get three points for every burrow that has at least three influence in it. Now, right now, I only have one, so this would only be worth, worth three points. However, if I'm able to get some more out there and have enough money, that could be really helpful. But the rats are coming fiercely. There's no way. So that's going to be five, six rats that are coming out. I'm not even going to try this time, I don't think. It is me, right? Yeah. Two more rounds of this. Let's see. Oops. Yowzers. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's even worth it for me to try on that one. Like I'm like that's that's where I'm where I'm at right now is just like I like that Dean says that because that means he and I would oh wait I I lose one from my highest influence I didn't do that I paid two prestige but I didn't do oh okay, okay. um yeah, that kind of stinks because that's I know where I would have taken it from his ear though so I'll just be honest with you yeah please don't lie to us well I mean the thing is is that, I mean yeah 
I mean, I've got Dean just passed me over the rat, so like I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like going back one is it worth it for next round, right? Uh, to not lose two points, um, or do I just need to? <sighs> Boy, nah, I'll do something else. Okay, you first, dog. You're not gonna give me your. Oh, the last one. Last Sorry. Part. I don't think I'm going to use it anyway. Yep, probably not. All right, me first. I will for sure play a trusted friend. I just don't know where I'm going to move him yet. I, I need to start getting some more. You're going to play two trusted friends this round? Do what? You're going to play two trusted friends this round? Um, we'll see. Yeah, I am. I, I'll go ahead and tell you I will. Yeah. I was really hating passing you that card. So I'm going to go here. One, good to go back two, and score victory points. three. So I'm going to go one, two. I'm getting whipped. Three over here. I Dang think it. I did that right. I, you have to move from marketplace to marketplace. So here, yeah. here. I can't take this one. Um, I'm going to end there. So that's going to give me five points. That's four for that marker and then one for that. And that'll be my turn. I'm going to play my carriage, which, you know, I have no option. I can go, I've got to go two, but I can't get another yellow one. That was the really problem with that. So the only real option I have is to go one, two and take the one I'm not super excited about because I need, I mean, I don't mind getting the coins, but geez, I got to get some points because Dean is just, I have not a good point building engine. I probably shouldn't have, I really shouldn't have done what I did right there. I don't have any money. I've got one coin that will help me and, and I'll have to be able to use that out here probably. But I'm gonna do the same thing again, like what John said, trusted friend, I'm gonna go here. That's four influence there, plus an additional one is five. That's five points. This isn't even close at this point. Um, what's the point? Let's just quit the game right now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna get one of each of these. The rat means nothing to me, but just what happens. Okay. All right, uh, now it's me. I've got a coin. I'm going to spend it here because I am only going to have, there's only one place where I can get three points there. I would rather just take one of these and put it, not that one. I'll take this one, move Let's it up here, and that's going to be three, four, five, six points uh, that I'll get from that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I am going to take that and only get three points. Man, I was really hoping to get one more. I don't have any money. That makes but you It better. wasn't going to. I could have. I should have maybe done that. Did you stop the rats? One thing. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Neither so, one of us. Well, I think. I'm going to lose an influence and then I'm just going to take one when prestige six, instead of three. When six come out, my goodness, that's a, that's a lot, you know. Yeah. All right. This is going to go, yep, back here. You don't get an option there. I know we said that already, but. Um, but you don't get an option of what you're going to put out there. All right, so, sorry, those are all mixed up. This is the last round, John. If you don't build the right engine, these are going to go way in trubs. I have no money. Yeah. That might make a difference for what you give me. I don't know. Oh, I know. I'm paying attention to that. <laughs> so I really need to be able to get some money here. This is bad. But if you don't have, then you can't do... I don't know what he has in his hand. <laughs> I don't think it matters. I think Dean's got this game won. Um, but I'm going to have to take a risk here because I think that he has the game won. Yowzers. This was bad news. for those. This whole last round was bad for me. Nah, well, you may be... No, you're okay. For what I needed to be able to do. What are these now? You get one point for every sector that has a minimum of one. Isn't that right? Yeah, so one point for every every uh, borough that has one, um, and then you know the rest. The positive to what I've set up is that I don't have to take that because I actually have two, and there's only two rats that came out. It's really interesting this game worked instead of it being more evenly distributed. I ended up keeping, so just so you know, the grueling decisions, because John knows now, I ended up, I had on my last draw, one of the bank cards and then one of the victory point ones. I need money to be able to buy these cards and potentially stop the rats, but getting six points is helpful. You know what I mean? Like, so I, I stuck with a point. Oh, shoot, you didn't pass me that. Yeah. 
So that is you, John. Yeah, this is... I mean, the, my cards are not going to help me this round. Mine are going to hurt me, but not help me. One of them is really good, obviously, but... Um, do I get points for... Hold up. <laughs> Let me see here. Do I go down and I just look at the in-game score? I just want to make sure. Oh! Okay. I didn't think so. That was just wishful thinking. Okay. I was wanting to know if money was worth anything at the end. My goodness gracious. Ghost um, is back again. It's always on your turn. When you're taking okay. long turns, the ghost pushes the door open. I'm going to play this. Put this out there to gain three of these. Influence. Okay. Uh, really, the only thing I'm going to be able to do on this turn is be able to take points, which... That's huge. It is huge, but... Honestly, I, I should have I should have taken the money this time. It would have made more sense because I'd be able to get the points anyway. Like, so I'll tell you what screwed me up. Five, man. six points. Like, yeah. uh, playing keep away is just going to make me, I have no choice. I've got to take money. Yep. Which um, doesn't help on any of those. Like I wasn't able to get, I would love to have gotten my thing out on one of those. But I mean, it doesn't do me any good. But I have to play the card. and I mean, I don't. Anyways, it's not going to do me any good, but anyways, I'll take it. I'm kind of complaining a lot in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I think I would turn this off. Uh, I'm just going to do this to move one of these over to take some influence, which doesn't do me any good. That's there it. Go. That's it. All right, so I'm first. Yep. Um, I don't have any money, so it doesn't make I sense. have one, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, it makes... I mean, there's no choice for me at all. It's just to go ahead and score five points. All right, I'm doing nothing there, and then I'm going to lose. Uh, I'm also, because I'm not going to be able to defend off the rats, I'm going to lose two right points. And then I gained six for Notre Dame. That's right. That end was good for me. It was. But the, it was. you had a really big last round, I think. Um, the last couple rounds were really good. Yeah, the last round was not good for me at all, yeah. actually. But the, yeah, it's it's yeah. interesting because, like, you, you have to think through what's going to be the best way of getting points. Yep. And, and if you get locked into one way, it can really hurt you in other ways. So yep. who knows? We'll see what happens. Yep. And that's it. We just count our points up. So All right. here it is. Oh, it's so nerve wracking, except for, I don't know what it really is. <laughs> I'm not that. It's fine. If I lose, I lose. It's fine. I'm not stressing it. You always got to look at my points when you're counting yours too. Hello. I've got a 45. That's what I've got. You beat me. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, you definitely do. That's, this is, does that's this stress 30, you? I feel like you're stressed out. One, John. it does. Five, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 39 to 41. 45. 45. So even if that one round, which I kind of think I may have lost two points on that one too. Um, and let's say it would have taken out this another cube from here. So let's just say I probably would have lost two, three, maybe four points or something. I guess I still probably would have won. So in playing keep away, if you would have passed me Notre Dame, by the way, at that last round when you kept it, you would have kept a lot of points. I would have gotten six points and tied you. Yep. That's what I was trying. That's what I was hoping would happen was that I, but I, the reason I didn't do that and congratulations. Hey, there you go. So six, you always do that to me. <laughs> five to eight, right? Because it was seven, five, five to eight. Dean I think is that's right. Again, we're way behind on the editing, it. so we'll we'll see. All right, let's talk about the art and components. Now, this is an older game, and, and a lot of the games that we're going to be playing of the older nature are ones that we tend to like, so we don't have to sure. spend a whole lot of time on the review. Um, but art and components, John, what do you think? Uh, not great. <laughs> I mean, none of it. I mean, all right. So, okay. You like the old. The I do like games. it. I know I do like the Philip. Like that. That's the one positive is that I, I do like the old school Euro style art. It's like um, grandma's cooking. You know what I mean? It is homey, and I like it. But if I'm and so I like I like the art fine. Uh, but the components. I mean, you have this carriage and this guy, but it's just cubes and you know pieces of cardboard that aren't super thick or anything like that. So uh, I like the art. I'm happy with it. Okay. And the components are just okay. <laughs> you know, like yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's fine. I mean, it's it's got it, this like you know beige kind of look, and it's not like it lays on the table and I go, 
That's a gorgeous game. <laughs> if you, but it's fine. If you played like Castles of Burgundy, it has that same kind of feel. The components all feel. The, the Aaliyah game series, the, the components all have that same feel. They're very functional. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing. The sure. trusted friend is probably my favorite part in this. But, you know, I'm a component guy, but it doesn't bother me. Some of these like Puerto Rico and this and... Castles of Burgundy, yeah. the components just, I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't, they don't bother it me. It doesn't affect ideas. my score at all. Yeah. I do really like this token right here. That is, depending on the way you look at it, either four points or a lightning bolt. I think it looks like a lightning bolt. It does. It really <laughs> With does. the font that they chose. But yeah, I mean, I, yeah. But what about the game? Cardboard card? standy. I think we can move Quasi -moto. on. Quasi-moto. We can move on. Okay, gameplay. You, yeah. You, you go yep. first. I'm starting it off. All right, so the gameplay... I really like card drafting, and, and that's you know a, a big piece of this. I, I, I find myself really liking games where I can just take one action on my turn, and then but also then each decision becomes very grueling, and that is exactly what this game is, every part of it. So the drafting part is, I want to keep this because it's really good for me. The last round of that was a great example. Like I really wanted money and needed money and probably honestly should have went that route. But I also really wanted to get big points here. I knew that if I... If I got rid of my point one, John would have kept it. If I got rid of my my coin one, John's going to keep it because there's a lot of hate drafting in this game. But I love it, especially I, I in love, a two player game. Yeah, it, yeah, especially in two player game. Uh, but in more players, you're having to think. I don't. Nobody wants that person to have this one. So should I keep it or so should somebody else keep yeah. it? If you you know, um, it's 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 really interesting. But I, I find myself drawn to those games, and this game has that that felled field that everything you're going to do is going to be. A, a grueling decision, but also very important, right? All, all yeah. the decisions in this game are very important. You need money, you need to have points, but you also need to be able to move your carriage around, everything you need to stop the rats, and that can be a stressful thing for some people. But anyway, everything is just, it comes together in this good, you know, felt goodness, I think. It does. Um, and there can be, I mean, parts, and I like that about the game. During eh, the first quarter of the game, I kind of found myself, a little bit hand strapped, as I said earlier, and for some people that might be frustrating, right? Like if you're if you're not if you don't have the influence, and so Is you're that moving. A phrase? I just made it up. Okay. So if you're not don't have your influence here, so you're having to move those over, but then yet you didn't do a great job with the rats, and like this game can be brutal. I guess is what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. it can be, it can kind of beat you down if you're if you're making a lot of mistakes, um, but it's long enough to where I think I you can come back a little bit. You know what I mean? Like you can start yeah. making some good decisions and like, but there are moments in the game where you're going to feel really strapped yeah. and you're like, Oh, uh, I should have managed that better or whatever, which I think I like that. And like, I, like I've said before, I like games that, that are difficult, that are, that are challenging that, that, and a lot of people don't I, I, I'm difficult and challenging. I mean, difficult and challenging that um, can make you have negative side effects is what I mean. Like, yeah. so not like, Oh yeah. How to explore the most points, but like the ones where you got to feed your workers or you lose this. You know, the rats, or you lose that. I like games that are difficult like that, mm -hmm. um, that present that that type of challenge, I think is a better way to say it. Um, some people hate that. My wife doesn't like that very much. Like, she would rather just the, the difficulty and challenge be about, how can I score the most points versus my opponent? Um, I think that that's really fun in this game, Dean. But I also really like, especially in a two-player game, the tactical nature of when to score points. Yeah, You're balancing all these plates – you know, I need to get influence so that I can spread that out. I need to get, um, I need to, you know, maybe watch the rat in, uh, infestation, you know, but I also need coins. But right now I could take six points. And if you saw in this game, six points is huge. Yeah. So when to do that, when to risk it and do that is really cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yep. And I like the decisions. Like, like I you almost always like, I want to do both of these or all three of these. Which one do I want to do the most? And then what do I not want to pass to Dean? Mm -hmm. And that's just uh, fun. I, I really like this game. Final thoughts? Yeah, yeah. I really do too. And, and just want to add something. It, this game is not as good at two players. And it's it, it's because of the drafting, I think. And this is a personal opinion, obviously. But you know, the, the drafting, I think, is better at a higher player count. But And Notre Dame. Yeah, that's it, right. It depends on your style, yeah. though. But if you like that where you're going to know and it's that chessy back and forth, mm -hmm. then th you might like that better in a two-player game. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. But other than those two pieces, you are essentially doing your own thing. You're not, you know, you can have carriages in the same spot. It can be a rush to get the tokens, the message tokens before somebody else does. But a lot of times, you know, you're, you are 
Yeah, there is. I don't want to say there's not player interaction because there is a lot of player interaction in this game. You, but it but also can feel like if you don't like a lot of player interaction, you might still like this because you are still kind of doing your own thing in your own burrow. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think the heaviest player interaction absolutely is Notre Dame and, and the it, drafting. Then drafting, yeah. uh-huh. and you're like the carriage can be as well. Yeah, but um, and, and and then kind of like the um, the rats. Like if they're gonna lose points, you're like, fine, I'll lose points. Yeah, like there's kind true. of that like indirect, indirect like watching yeah. what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I agree, but yeah, I can go on to my final thoughts. I love, I love the drafting. I, I love how all the the actions. You know, you can really build up some of these actions. I was, I was focusing a lot of points, and honestly, I don't usually do that. You know, I, I it's been a while since I have played this game, but I don't often like load up in that area. I usually fend off the rats a lot more than what I than what I do. And and anyway, there's a lot of different strategies. So. It's Feld. I mean, I, I for me, so good. it's like Feld designs games for me. I don't know. I know a lot of people feel that way, but it just feels, I really like this game. I, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10, which is uh, pretty strong. And, and honestly, that 8 out of 10 might not even make my top 10 whenever we do this. But it's not that I don't wow. really like this game. I really like this game. But just really like I just really like Felds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So anyway, 8 out of 10, that's, that's a solid game for me. Really good. All right, I didn't mention in the gameplay that I love. One thing I didn't mention is the engine building aspect. Yeah. I like like this is de- pretty strong in this game um, because you can score you know two, three, four coins or whatever. But I agree with Dean. I mean the drafting is great. It's fun. The when to go to Notre Dame, uh, when to hate draft and keep away. That's really fun in this game. When to tactically score the points, maybe. And I love those cards. Um, and then, I mean, I've got the expansion. I can't remember what it's called, but it just adds more of those and more variety, which is nice. I don't think you have to have that, but it's just kind of nice. Um, we didn't play with that. We just played with the base game during this time. I love those cards, man. The way those come out and the way the rats come out. It really actually was in my disfavor in this game because I was kind of going towards this, but it was like, Heavy, heavy, light. Heavy, heavy, light. And that was really bad for me having an engine here because Dean could go, who cares, who cares? Which that's just what was happening to me. Yeah. I lose, I lose, and then we both manage it. And so that didn't super work out, I don't think, the best way for me. Still, I love this game. And what I also love about it is it's pretty quick. Like it's like, yeah, yeah, I was gonna mention it's like too, an yeah. hour long game. I can boom, 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 get it done. Uh, I like this one a little better than Dean. I'm going to give this eight and a half. Yeah. I, I, I just, this is one that I've, every time I, you know, bring it back out after a while, I go, oh, why don't I play this game more? Mm-hmm. And I don't. My wife doesn't like it. So she doesn't like the rats and all those, like, she just, it's just really not her style. I get that. Says. The rats can be stressful if you it's, let them it's, be. That's what I, she thinks it's just too stressful for her to play this game. But it's, it's not a total loss if you can't keep up with the rats, as you saw. Right. Yeah. I'm disappointed she doesn't like this because I love it. We'll play it then. So that is an eight for me, an eight and a half from John. Really both like Notre Dame. Tell people how they can get in touch with us. All right. If you're enjoying our channel, we would love for you to subscribe to it. If you'd like to support us, go to patreon.com slash Town or at, at Facebook, Instagram. Nope. We're at Meeple Town Games on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we're Board Game Geek Guild 3407. Thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us, and thanks to our Patreon supporters for making content like this possible. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com slash MeepleTown. To follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, find us at MeepleTown Games. Finally, to connect with us and other residents of MeepleTown, you can join Guild 3407 at BoardGameGeek.com. Until next time, thanks for coming down to MeepleTown.